Self-care practices to align, connect, and prosper in a very chaotic world. Today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. And now your host, Jen O'Brien and Matt Emerson. Well, welcome everyone to the WBNL Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where together we align, connect, and prosper. This is episode 292, and you can find all those show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. Dan, no chit chat today. We all need this in the conversation. Let's jump right into it. All right. So, do you feel we are living in more chaotic times than ever, Matt? Uh, yeah. So, do you have a feeling, and everyone listening or watching, is it just me or Matt and I, or beyond the chaos, do you feel that time is really speeding up i mean i cannot believe as we record today we were we are approaching the we're the past the midpoint of right at the midpoint of may of may of 2024 right it's hard to believe what else is is the chaos is it just us or do you also feel there is so much more extreme weather and natural disasters we actually got some data points in the show notes I won't bore you with those details, but yes, the facts, the scientific facts show there is in the last 20 years, an 83% increase in significant weather patterns that, that lead to major floods, severe storms, droughts, wildfires, earthquakes, go on and on, hurricanes. Uh, as a matter of fact, as we record this, I got an alert on my phone about a severe, a very severe thunderstorm going through part of the country today, got that too. Uh, which really is has already caused a couple of deaths. And we seem to get, uh, you know, desensitized to that because it seems to happen all the time now around the world, not just here in the United States. And Jen, you know, it's not just, you know what, it's funny. You can't even talk about whether you can't talk about climate change. Or you can't talk about weather changes because that's a political, that has become a political softball. Yeah. So you can't even talk about the weather anymore. A hundred percent. Or what about these solar flares? And, and we all just experienced the recent geomagnetic storm. And there's a lot of cool science. And uh, we have some links to the apps and the NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center, which is a cool thing to follow. You could look at things like the Schumann resonance. If you're really into the science behind how patterns in the Earth and the electromagnetic field are impacting us which i find fascinating but did you get to did you hear did you see or if you're listening did you see any of the auroras that uh that we saw in the skies it was really cool it, 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 too many lights in vegas but people did post that were outside of vegas in really dark areas some really amazing photos yeah. all the way down to florida and all parts of the world more of that is coming the sun if you go look at the science the sun has got some active solar uh, spots that are pushing out solar flares and what they call corona um, CMEs, coronal mass ejections. That's what it stands for. I've been studying it because I'm like, what is this? Yeah. So anyway, all that is creating some stuff. And there wasn't a massive interference, but even Elon Musk just came out and said those recent storms kind of, they had some problems with Starlink because of it. And they're, they're predicting more are coming, more solar flares, and it's, in, it's, it's impacting the earth and all of us that live on the earth. So that's happening. And you just brought it up. We always have geopolitical but uh, issues around the uh, around the country and the world. But we got an impending presidential election. This country has never been more divisive, maybe like until like Civil War times almost. Uh, but we are there where people are on different sides of, of uh, the issue. And there's a lot of angst and heavy energy and anger out there in the world. There's, you know, global tensions and wars and economic uncertainty, inflation in our business. People are so frustrated that it's so hard to buy a house right now, unless you have a lot of money or you got cash or you're an investor, you know, or you're one of these, you know, big hedge funds. It's really overwhelming, right? So let's not file down into that pattern. That's the reality of what we're dealing with. So That's I feel right. like you have a couple choices. And this is where things, this is where you can start waking up to the reality and you can take charge of how you feel about all this by how you take care of yourself. Right. Or you can stay kind of like in the, I think there's a there's reasons that people, there's reasons to keep everybody divided for political reasons and pressure and keeping things as they always are and the people in power. But the reality is, do you want to lighten up? Do you want to feel freer? Do you want to feel better? Or do you want to get on, stay in the dark and the heavy energy and the, where you're not feeling all the time and it's impacting your health. I guess that's the choice we all have. 
Right here, I choose more self-care and well-being. How about you, Matt? 10-4 on that, good buddy. So we're going to cover some self-care practices today. High level, a lot of little notes, a lot of resources to recommend. And I want to start with self-care is not selfish. Preach. Let me say that again. Self-care is not selfish. And this is to all the people out there that really think it's you've got to take care of everyone else first and you last. And I'm going to say we have that wrong. This is something I've done my whole life and I feel I have gotten better at. You can be a better nurturer and caregiver when you take care of yourself first. Because when you do that, you're going to be better balanced mentally, spiritually, physically, and emotionally, and better prepared to help all the people that you care about from your significant others, your family members, your kids, your clients and friends. You're going to be better able to be there for people when you take care of yourself first when you it's going to replenish your energy it's going to provide more balance and when you overextend yourself with a lot of us have you know i guess we're wired to do that you it's going to lead to depletion resentment and exhaustion so recognize your limits set boundaries with people and everyone it is okay to say no it is. No, I can't take that project on today. No, I'm not going to be able to attend that. I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, and you have to know what your boundaries are. If you always are saying yes, 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 you're going to end up ill or stressed out or needing to take, you know, different medications or oh. whatever. Okay. So obviously key benefits to self-care are very obvious, but why don't we just say them out loud? Reducing stress. Check. I'll take that. Improved yep. physical health. How about better sleep? Yes, thank you. Enhanced mental health, increasing your self-esteem and self-love, being more productive. Well, if that's my, one of my goals, I can be more productive if I take care of myself. And obviously, heighten self-awareness. So let's jump into self-care practices number one. I'm calling it conscious nutrition. Now, I am not saying you... I'm not going to list what you should be eating and drinking and all that. You need to figure that out for yourself. But I do know it comes from being conscious of your choices. And for the most part, all the medical experts are going to say, choose healthier foods, more organic foods that are going to align with you because some people can eat fruits and others can't. So if we're all different. We all have different things that make us up. So why don't you figure out what works for you? And if you just start tuning into your body, which I've been doing, I'm telling you, man, I am so aware of that because when I test, it's like my body is telling me on some weird level, like, yeah, drink more water. Okay, that is definitely key. You, I've heard it for years. I now love drinking more water because my body is going, thank you. Stay hydrated, carry water with you. I'm using a new to eliminate plastics. Matt will be happy with that. I, I have the Life Straw filter. Uh, in my, you know, we're not buying the plastic bottles. We're filling them up now, which it tastes so much better. And I'm, I like that Life Straw brand. Uh, and you can even get Life Straw bottles. A friend gave me one of those that you just pour the water in and it filters it for you. You have to sort of, you have to sort of suck the water out. <laughs> it's not just pouring out. So you actually work a little bit to get that water. All right. So just reduce, here's key on that. Reduce or eliminate processed foods. That's going to help you right there. Exercise. Move your body in some way. Just take a walk. Matt uses his Apple fitness rings. I, I just went this morning and I use Matt my walk. But you can try yoga, stretching, Tai Chi, whatever it is for you, move your body. And at the How very least, least, stand. Don't just, just sit around standing, all day. Get yes. your ass up. And that thing will help you, your, your watch. Yep. Uh, get regular massages. I threw that one in for Matt. And I, Thank because you. I have been thinking I need to have some more massages because that body work can help stress reduce and, and, and move things around your body and your energy. You agree with that one? Matt? I do hundred percent. And not only does it do that, it gives you that 50 minutes, 80 minutes, however long you go, that, that permission to be completely down mm -hmm. and to just get into your own head and just uh, relax. Grounding. Let me talk to you what I mean by grounding. As I sit right here, record this, I have my feet on a grounding mat. And a grounding mat, I had so many people talking about this and things I follow. I put the link to earthandmoons.com, which I is highly recommend every time I turn around. I got a package. I have a grounding mat that sits at my desk. And you should keep your bare feet on it. And it's amazing how it just sort of just feel, helps you get grounded. You can awesome. have one when you're sleeping. There's grounding sheets that you can get. 
Uh, the one, the second one I have, I can use on my yoga mat, so it helps you ground while you're doing yoga. But you know what the best way to ground is? You don't have to go out and buy a high-tech grounding mat or get sheets. Is to go outside, take your shoes off, and connect with the earth. That's it. Grounding is, that's the way to ground, okay? Obviously, the big one we talk about all the time is meditation. Don't get overwhelmed with what meditation is. I'm just going to say to you, three to five minutes a day, right? We've got some links in the show notes for you, but it can be everything from just saying your personal affirmations. I have got, and I love listening. I do guided meditations. I have recommendations, and I've used apps before, and we have recommendations for that. But um, listening to guided meditations, I use BrainSync and Hemisync. These are binaural beats. You can have guided uh, meditations where someone's talking and it's just this balance in your brain. Sometimes it's just music, it's high vibe music. And then the apps, Calm and Headspace are two favorites. And I also have Insight Timer. Insight Timer is this really cool app if you're just doing a three minute meditation that won't be like a jarring ring. It'll kind of count in and it's you can pick a nice more a, a smoother way to come back from your little four to five or 10 minute meditation. So honestly, I just now sit in for five, and I've been doing more than five minutes. I just basically do this breathing thing and I don't have any music on and I'm just getting better at watching my thoughts, releasing them and just being open. And I might say something like this, what is it that I need to know today? And just mm -hmm. be quiet Love it. Love it. and see what happens, see if any insight comes in or, or maybe then or later in the day. And that's, that's what's been happening for me. Breath work, breathing. So there's three things we have in here for you, and you can read the instructions. One's called box breathing. This is just like four seconds. Uh, breathe in for four sec seconds, hold it for four seconds, release it for four seconds, um, it equal count, and then you it just brings you down. When you when you get fired up, just try breathing. It's just conscious breathing. The 478 is the Dr. Andrew Wheel's uh, approach where you, you hold it for a little longer. Four seconds in, um, hold it for eight and then exhale very i mean hold it for seven and ex exhale for eight that's it alternate nostril breathing is a yoga technique which is also it's just conscious this makes you be conscious of breathing apple watch users that breathing thing is cool it's pretty thing awesome. that reminds you to start breathing right the next practice is journaling writing down your thoughts and feelings regularly can help you just understand patterns and maintaining emotional balance. And is a great outlet if that's something that you like. Practicing gratitude. We've done whole, I mean, we're into this. We have done, I don't we know, are. maybe we put links to some of our previous uh, Cultivating Gratitude podcast, Matt, in the show notes. Sure. It's real simple. You can just start or end your day by writing down what you're grateful for. You can just wake up and say out loud. You don't necessarily have to write it down. Today, I'm great. I am grateful for this or end your day. What am I grateful for that happened? It gets you focused on what was powerful and coming from gratitude and love versus all the chaos and drama that happened. Because probably there was a lot of that, but I bet there were little tidbits of things to be grateful for. And it means that you need to be open to seeing that. Then you can do acts of gratitude throughout your day. Just saying thank you to people, just smiling. I'll give you an example of a when I was walking into a place to eat. And I was in the parking lot and this couple was ahead of me and the man um, uh, waited for me and held the door. And I was like, wow, thank you so much. And he goes, I know nobody really does this anymore or even just talk to each other or smiles. I was like, God, I'm so happy I found you today. Yeah, That just made my day, right? Matt? I mean, seriously, that guy waited. I was on my damn phone, not paying attention. I look up and he was still standing there. I'm like, oh, he goes, yeah. And then he has this conversation with me. His That's wife and very cool. ahead of him. Isn't that neat? Yeah, I love so, it. Anything else to add to the gratitude? I know you you have always have. No, I always go back to the same thing. So if you listen to any other links we put in the podcast, you can, you'll hear this again. When you're in the car, it doesn't. If you are not in a damn ass hurry to get somewhere. Let someone go. Let someone turn in front of you. Don't be the first one to go through a stop. I mean, it's just so funny that there's so much rage on the road right now. Just slow down and let people do their thing. It, it, it'll be shocking. It, it shocks people when you tell them to go. Not sad. That's like a ripple. It's like throwing yeah. a stone in the pond and that act of kindness or gratitude or love is rippling out and it might right. get somebody to think about it for a second. And honestly, this is how we can change things. If you were saying, how, I wish we could change more people and people not be so negative. You, you can't change them. All we can do is change us. So we change us when you change you. When you change you and you do the things that we're talking about, like this gratitude thing is a huge one then it creates a ripple. And if enough of us did that, really and truly. that's where change can start happening. 
so you, this 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 thing about uh is still a trigger for me and i am so conscious of it it's so funny as i continue to work on all of this and find this balance and acp align connect prosper which is what we're working on our new course we're giving you a sneak peek of some of the content that's coming today uh around just this one thing of daily practices there's so many more we're just covering some common ones that of course you've heard of but my trigger continues to be in the car i'm in the car more because i'm doing more showing of homes and whatnot and mm -hmm. the, i am really noticing how out of control and how people act out their anger and their emotions yeah. in cars it always has been but i feel like it's worse or maybe i'm just aware of it no more. it is but worse. I, I feel like i'm getting triggered by it and i find myself cussing at people and doing those things and i immediately have to stop and go wow i guess you haven't really learned all of this stuff yet here's your here's your opportunity to yeah. really practice and that's what you have to do you catch yourself doing it and change right there in the moment and i will and i'll say wishing you all the love and light today that you get where you need to go instead of like ha 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 i hope something happens to you and the police are up ahead and they get right. you which is what the old gen would be doing okay all right a few more things and practices and these are more um you know just tools that you could maybe use aromatherapy uh, these are some of my favorite i'm just sharing ones that i use currently and i have all i'm kind of back into more very pure essential oils in diffusers and baths as part of a massage really can help with stress and there's all kinds of science behind that Absolutely. i just like to diffuse them i will just have oils you can even put them on you so check out about aromatherapy pick a couple oils you can't go wrong with things like lavender is a basic one when you're not feeling good in your chest and so forth eucalyptus is a yep, big yep. one uh, that you can get and you can even just put it in some oil and and rub it directly onto your chest uh you know for to help you breathe that one's for matt because matt's dealing with the 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 cough that won't go away uh deal that i'm kind of over finally after probably like a month and a half it seemed like uh, sound healing so sound healing is so awesome sound healing can be everything from listening to higher frequency music just go to your whatever you like i i use apple music but um one of the other things soundcloud and uh What's the one everybody kind of listens to uh pandora or in your car i don't have that but i don't know if you can get it in your car but whatever wherever you get your music download your streaming music um just look for higher frequency music and it's just set to a higher frequency which immediately interacts with you there's a lot of music that is purposely written in a lower density keeps you in a lower density you know it's darker you know, also um, nature sounds too. Sounds and if you find you yes. nature tracks, you know, yeah. running water, uh, waterfall, yeah, all birds, you, birds you can, especially. So. Birds, anything in nature, you can get the white noise. Yep. You can also, uh, there's also practices and modalities where you can go to a sound healing circle. I did this when I was in Sedona. And it's just higher vibe music, but it's things like uh, crystal bowls, singing bowls, yeah. uh, gongs, tuning forks. They just vibrate to a higher frequency, which impacts you and it can help you. Uh, emotionally and spiritually crystals hello I always I'm into crystals I have been forever so I have crystals all around like amethyst is a really powerful one to have with you and then I have recently in the last year gotten into um, crystal beads and my knowledge of crystals and finding really good crystals and just making bracelets for people and I give them to clients and family and friends and I wear them for how I feel today and you can learn about the properties of crystals uh, through just going online. I have an app actually, which is so awesome. So if I have a friend who's got something going on, I'll I have an I kind of know a little bit about them, but I'll look it up and I'll purposely make something that will help them with that for grounding. So obviously amethyst is a big one, quartz crystal, things like black tourmaline or onyx are grounding, uh, hematite. These are my favorite, some of my favorite ones. Selenite. You just learn about it, and then you know what the deal is any of these things we're talking about if if they resonate with you and you learn about it it's helping you use the tool to set an intention for what it is you want to do that's right so if i was to talk to you about feng shui and you really resonate with it feng shui is just another way to 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 a reflection of your energy feng shui ancient practices of feng shui there's other practices that you whether you know it or not you arrange your space where you live your house your workspace based on how you're feeling a, a feng shui practitioner can come into your house and tell you what's going on with you including any kind of issues you're having emotional i've had that happen and it was spot on but because i'm subconsciously doing it so feng shui which is not even in here i'm just bringing it up right now i don't know why is so that you can um literally change uh 
purposely change things with your intention and then therefore change your energy. And I can just tell you that that absolutely, well, you know, you have to, you have to believe, right? Once you believe, it, I mean, it absolutely works. We just recently had a little renovation in our house where we changed our flooring in our living room and dining room. And there was no furniture in that house and everything was off the walls. And we had intentionally set our house up a certain way that, you know, it, it, it might not be perfectly, you know, feng shui, but it certainly calms us. And it is uh, set up, it, 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 it's just very, it's a calming, very restful place for us. Well, it has not been for the last week and a half. And you were aware of it. Oh my God, very aware of it. And as we have loaded, started to load things back in, not all that we've even done yet because I haven't been feeling well. Um, it's already starting to, you can feel the difference, the literal difference when you're walking into that room. And I'll tell you something else. Our cats are quite aware of what's going on too, because our, our oldest cat was just thought, what the hell is happening here? And as things are going back in the house and starting, to, you know, for them, it's more like familiarity, right? But still, but still, uh, you know, things getting back to normal. There is, you can just see a sense of calm coming across them as well. So it's interesting that. Cause they pick up on your energy. Work. And vice versa. Yeah. Cats are very good for people, you know, to, to help you balance. Well, I was going to say, with their with them being, being off, it has caused us to be off. So it's been but a when whole When they're thing. back, then you yeah. know, you're all coexisting together. Two yeah. last ones here, and we'll finish up. Reiki or any other energy healing modalities is really powerful to help with, you know, getting to onto, onto that side. Reiki, Reiki has been around forever, and there's lots of other things that you can look into for that. And I'm going to end with this one, digital and media detox. So if you put regular digital disconnects and detoxes, which means just unconnecting periods of time where you unconnect from all the tech, whether it's your phone, your TV, and I even mean media sources, like where you're getting all this yep. influx of negative news, which definitely impacts us. I really have cut that out. And that's, I think cutting that out, because I used to really be too much into it, has completely changed things for me. Just this one thing alone. Uh, you know, it, that's going to enhance and help things be healthier. And then the thing that I wanted to say, too, is that I've been really working on sleep, but I have to tell you, I don't think sleep, sleep, better sleep patterns comes when you have these other self-care practices going on for you. You're able to sleep when you can reduce stress. Well, how do you reduce stress and how do you focus on, you know, having better mental, you know, mental, uh, emotional, spiritual, physical well-being with some of the things we talked about today, which will automatically lead to better, more restful sleep. OK, so that's the biggest major side benefit of doing this. And then, of course, I got to finish with start with the morning routine. That's part. That's our step one of the WBNL do the daily practice for work life balance, right, right. which simply means figuring out you can all figure out how to start your day with five to 15 minutes or longer of how you could integrate some of these self practice, self care practices into a way to start your day and then figure out whatever else works for you. And that closing statement in our podcast today is about you have to go figure out what works best for you. We just listed a bunch of them. There are many, many more in hopes that something sparks your interest that you're saying, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and do that meditation thing. It doesn't have to be that hard. I, I do want to calm my mind and see if I can get better connected or inspired or figure out what I want to do next or whatever. OK, so go play with them don't try to do all those okay yeah P pick something or two or three of them that work that can we talked about atomic habits recently pick something and make a little small step to start seeing big results in your life and i think you'll you'll see the results and you'll feel stronger and more positive and be in a space of your heart and gratitude and love and you have you can just provide you can just be a walking light in the on the earth right now as opposed to heavy energy and darkness. Okay. So I'm going to leave you with that. That's awesome. You can find all of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. This was episode 292. All the links, all the, uh, the things that we talked about today, plus a whole lot more over there uh, on our podcast show notes, episode 292. Also go over to our website, WBNLcoaching.com and check out our resource page where you're going to find a lot of other information. Uh, our our best reads, links to all of our uh, our Align Connect Prosper course, uh, as well as other goodies that you can find over there to help you kind of start to getting your work life uh, balance into into work over there. So, uh, yeah, we'll be back next week. Go, get out there, uh, you know, Align Connect Prosper. You know, just breathe, people. Just breathe. And, yeah, and be forever and find wandering. Find your joy. Yeah, and and also find your path. <laughs> and be forever wandering, but not. Wandering.